First of all, I just want to say that this bottle is like the work of art. This is like the best bottle in my perfume collection. This is so, 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 so unique and so beautiful. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. This is going to be a slightly different video. I think I'm going to plan testing this perfume for days. So yeah, so this is going to be a first impression, except I kind of cheated and I sprayed one time. But yeah, well like three minutes ago so that I know how it smells like. But yeah, this is a, a, a first impression of this super duper popular perfume that's gifted to me from the team of Martin Mikuleft. Hey guys, I got another package from Mikuleft. Look at how beautiful it is. I also got three more samples, Glamour, Delice, Gourmet, and Elangen Gold Nectar. So I'm going to do a separate video for the Elangen Gold Nectar comparison with the Elangen Gold that I already have. So I'm going to open it in front of the camera, look how beautiful it is. Wow, as you could see, there's actually a pattern. It looks like a, you know, Chanel quilted leather type of pattern, but it's made of like a paper, but it has the silky finish. It looks like a Hallmark greeting cards, the fancy kind. 100 mil, wow. Guys, they're very, very generous. Um, they just sent me a Mikulev Note Vanille, which I absolutely love. It's like one of my favorite perfume now. Um, they sent me 100 ml of this Note Vanille. I can't believe they're sending me another Mon Parfum Cristal. They're giving me 10% discount for you guys to enjoy. Please take advantage of that. I'm not making any money from the discount code. Um, please, 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 please. Wow, the packaging is just absolutely beautiful. I contacted them with the video. So Manon from Mikalev told me that Note Vanille is unfortunately out of stock and that she wants me to wait to release the video until uh, mid-July when the perfume is actually in stock. And then she asked me if if I'll be willing to receive another perfume for me to review meanwhile. And this is such a generous gift from them. She offered if I want to receive uh, Elangen Gold Nectar. And I told her that I would rather try out this perfume that has been recommended to me by many of my subscribers. But I just never get it because I'm not a big fan of Rose. Um, this is a uh, perfume, Mon Parfum Cristal. Oh my gosh, you guys. I know that I've seen this in a lot of perfume video. She put a uh, Swarovski crystal all over here. And then the bottle texture is just so beautiful. Oh my God, you guys. And if you see it from the bottom, it looks like... You know, it looks like a piece of a like a flower petal. You can you imagine if you have like four of these, you'll get the flower. It looks like a flower petal, even from the top. It's just absolutely stunning. I thought that the bottle couldn't get any better, guys. When I got the um, Note Vanille and when I bought this Elang and Gold, I thought that the bottle, the packaging couldn't get any better. I mean, this is an art by itself. I just absolutely love this house, you guys. All right, so I know I said that this is going to be a first impression, but I kind of cheated. I tried a little bit. I'm gonna spray it again. So the notes that are listed in Fragrantica, I'm gonna put it here. Um, I'm just gonna give you a first impression and then I'm gonna do a wear test throughout the day and then get back to you. So I think I'm gonna be testing this for several days. I'm gonna change the format of the video a little bit.
I have been looking for the best rose perfume and I think that I found the one right here. To be fair, this perfume is gifted to me, but it doesn't impact how I rate a perfume. If I don't like it, I tell you that I don't like it. I absolutely love this perfume. So you know that I don't like a rose perfume because some of them are a little bit too metallic-y, too aldehydic. Some of them is too put pourri like too too loud, too beast mode. So I'm super duper picky with my perfume. Um, the only rose that I like are roses Vanille, Mancera, and also Delina Exclusive. I absolutely love those. And I have been looking for a perfume that smells similar to like how face lotion rose scent. I have tested a simple pink rose. So I've tested Delina La Rose. I've tested a rose Kabuki. So I want to buy those like pink petal rosy but unfortunately rose kabuki is slightly too green it has these rose dewdrop and and green notes it's slightly too green it needed something else to make it less green something that's more gourmand leaning of a simple pink rose and i finally found the one here first of all i smell toffee i remember that there's a toffee note in here i smell rose and I smell some sort of fruits. It's some sort of like raspberry type of fruit. So this is a very fruity rose um, vanilla type of scent. And the toffee here smells vanillic, more like a toffee version of a vanilla. This is absolutely beautiful. The closest perfume um, that is similar DNA as this one, according to my nose, is Lancome Roses Verbranza, but Roses Verbranza has this pistachio note that's slightly more like uh, love and hate. So get rid of this pistachio so there's no more like feet note in it. And then Lancome Verbranza is a little bit too pungent, it's a little bit too strong. It's like a powwow, it like hits you in the face, whereas this one doesn't. This one's more subtle. It smells more similar of how Node Vanille behaves or like Jessica Simpson fancy type of scent. Like that's how it radiates and projects and that's how it leaves the sillage. It's not like Lancome Roses Verbranza. Roses Verbranza, it's like hits you in the face, it punch you. This one doesn't punch you. So I absolutely actually really, really adore this, you guys. I love, 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 love this one. Between this two, I don't know which one I like more. I might be leaning towards this, even though I don't like rose, surprisingly, but I absolutely love this one. This is like the best rose, I'm not lying, I'm not kidding, that I, I have. Yeah, I used to have Roses Berberenza, but I declutter it. Okay, so I just pull up all of my Roses perfume. It doesn't smell like Deluxe, because Deluxe has that woody coffee, sugary vanilla even the rose doesn't smell similar the rose here is a little bit more sharp the rose and the coffee combo and deluxe a little bit more sharp for the alternative which is roses vanille the rose has oud as well that makes a sharp has sharpness a little bit but it's like a sugary sweet jammy rose it doesn't smell like killian love don't be sigh extreme because this is like orange blossom marshmallow rose. This was also very, very good. One of my favorite. Uh, I don't know, the Nina Ricci Lectus Rose Absolute. I also like this one, but this one has that cheapness that has like cough syrupy vibe that doesn't presence in here. This one's slightly cheaper and it has that oody vibe even though it doesn't have oud but it has that oudy vibe it doesn't smell similar to delina exclusive because delina exclusive has this sourness it has that sourness it has that musk it has that oud as well that doesn't present here 
This one's more like apricoty vanilla. And this one is more like toffee with rose. But it has similar vibe though. Uh, but they don't smell similar. This two have does have similar vibe and feel. But this is like like a liquid toffee syrup rose scent. So as if the pink and red rose combo. It's like covered in this liquid syrupy toffee. It is delicious, you guys. This is like one of the best. The one that I like more than this might be um, this one. But yeah, it's like one of my favorite. Okay, so I am gonna get back to you with how this one smells like. Absolutely love it. I noticed that with Note Vanille, it changes over time. So I'm curious how this is gonna turn out. I'll see you later. Hey guys, I've tested uh, Mon Parfum Cristal for about two days. Performance really good. It's about six to eight hours. This one does project and does leave beautiful sillage. It behaves similar to the way Jessica Simsy Fancy does. Yeah, I really, really like it. Also, the more I smell this, the more I see the similarity between um, this one and two perfume that I have in my collection. It smells awfully similar to Jessica Simpson Fancy in a way that how it performs, how it behaves. You know, the toffee here came across very similar to the caramel in Jessica Simpson Fancy. To think of this as the toffee version of Jessica Simpson Fancy. And then this one I think has raspberry. And also this one has rose. So imagine like a rosier, a raspberry toffee version of Jessica Simpson Fancy. But that's the opening. On the dry down, this one reminds me a little bit of BDK Tuberose Imperial. So BDK Tuberose Imperial is a beautiful tuberose with the leathery vibe. The dry down of Mon Parfum Cristal is a leathery tuberose type like BDK Imperial with rose and raspberry and toffee. So it's like, think of this as a marriage in between um, Jessica Simpson Fancy and BDK Tuberose Imperial. Overall, I really, really enjoy this. This has become one of my favorite. I'm not a big fan of rose, but I do enjoy this a lot. I don't think this is a really a rose scent. This is more like a simple pink rose. Okay, so this is more like a, a hint of simple pink rose, but the, the simple pink rose is soaked in like liquid goodness of the toffee with a hint of raspberry and a little bit of a leatheriness tuberose from BDK Tuberose Imperial. I don't know what notes they have in common. I have I didn't check, but to my nose, this one's awfully similar to this, as well as Jessica Simpson Fancy. Yeah, so if you enjoy this type of perfume, go ahead and get it. Yeah, this has quickly become one of my favorite rose scents. I do reach for this a lot. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.